Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Natalia Jimenez. If this is the first time that you come here, uh, this is lesson 10 and you can watch my previous videos where I explain little by little topics about unit one, B and half. Today we're going to cover lesson 10, which is B plus questions with where, all right? So let's get started. In a previous lesson, we learned preposition. So we have in, on, under, next to, behind, between, above, and below. Okay? So try to remember, keep that in mind, because now we're going to cover just no question. So let's analyze the picture. Here we have yes, no questions asking for things. For example, he's thinking about a book and he's thinking, Is the book on the table? So what do you see? Yes or no? No! Of course, no. <laughs> so the answer is, No, it's not. The book is not on the table. Okay. What about in this picture? Same situation. He's thinking. Is the book on the table? And guess what? Yes! Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so is the book on the table? No, it's not. Is the book on the table? Yes, it is. Let's see the next example. So now he's not thinking about one book. He's thinking about one, two, three, four, many books, a bunch of books. And then the question is, are the books on the table? Guys, are the books on the table? No! No, of course. So, no, they are not. That's right. How about here in the same question? Are the books on the table? The answer this time is yes. So, yes, they are. So remember, for one thing, yes, it is, no, it's not. For many things, yes, they are, or no, they're not, okay? Or no, they aren't. All right, now take a look at the situation. He's thinking about the book, but he's asking his mother. Where is the book? And the mother says, it's on the table. All right. I say is because book is what? Is, is it a person or an object? Hmm. It's an object, right? I knew it. So we replace objects with it. So the book, it is replacing the word book. So what is the book? It's on the table. Very good. Now, here, he's asking about many books, and the question is... Where are the books? Here, we're going to use... They are on the table. So, the same situation. The word books is plural because one, two, three, four, many books. But here, we're going to use they, and they is replacing books because they can be used for people for animals, for things, for ideas, for everything. So no problem with the plural with they, all right? So where are the books? They are on the table. So summarizing, to ask for the location of things, we have just no questions. And for singular we have, is the book on the table? Yes, it is, or no, it's not. Or in plural cases, are the books on the table? Yes, they are, no, they're not. Or you can use questions with where, in where is the book? It's on the table. And where are the books? They are on the table. And now we are in practice time. Fantastic. Check these exercises. This is what you have to do. Remember that I always use a timer, okay? You can hear the timer and you have then 
seconds to think about the answer. What is the question? Make questions, use the information given. Ready? Go. Okay, so Pepper wants to know <laughs> about Iron Man and she asks, Is Iron Man at home? Because happy answers. Yes, he is. You got it like that? Good job. Okay, ready for the next one. All right, so Iron Man is at the office. Ready, set, go. Good. So the question here goes Where is Iron Man? Unhappy says At the office. All right. Maybe not, but that's the answer. <laughs> okay. Let's check the next one out. Okay. So here we have Ralph and Lisa. And the clue is yes, they are. The pyramids are in Egypt. So what is the question? Ready? Go. Fantastic. So the question that Ralph asks is Are the pyramids in Egypt? And Lisa, Lisa is very smart, and she says, Yes, they are. Very good. Well done. So the clue, the answer is in Egypt. The pyramids are in Egypt. What's the question? Ready? Go. So the question to this one is, where are the pyramids? You got it like that? Yes! Good. Excellent job. Okay, let's go to number five. So here is a clue. Yes, they are. The students are in class. What is the question that Mr. Skinner asked? Go. All right, so the question was, are the students in class today? Yes, they are. Good, awesome job. Okay, number six, the clue. Miss, Miss Crabapple asks answers in class. The students are in class. What did Mr. Skinner ask? Go. Okay, in this occasion, Mr. Skinner asks, where are the students? And the teacher, Ms. Krabappel says, in class. Good job, excellent. Okay, in this picture we have Captain America. And he's asking the mailman something. And the answer is on Main Street. The post office is on Main Street. So, what's the question? Ready? Go. Good job. So, Captain America asks, Where is the post office? Easy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very good. All right. Oh, number eight, we have Ron in Hermione, yes? So Ron makes a question and she answers, yes, it is. The train station is on Grand Avenue, Ron. So what was the question? Ready? Go. Good. So the question is, is the train 
station on Grand Avenue. And the answer is? Yes, it is. Very good. So we have Peppa and we have Mrs. Rabbit. So the answer that Mrs. Rabbit gives is over there. The bus stop is over there. What did Peppa ask? Ready? Go. All right, very good. So she asks Mrs. Rabbit. Where is the bus stop? Very good, guys. Now it's getting easier, right? Yes. Okay. So finally, the last question is Robin. Uh, this is a Starfire and Beast Boy. And this is uh, Raven. Okay. So what is Raven answers at the zoo? Starfire and Beast Boy are at the zoo. What was the question? Okay, so you got it. The question is Where are Starfire and Beast Boy? Yes. If you guessed all my questions, then you got it, guys. And guess what? The class is over. We have to go. I hope to see everyone in my next video, and I'm going to talk about some related topic to this. So thank you so much for your attention and see you later. Bye-bye.